Hey there, David Gardner here, and today we are going to show you how to actually add a picture into your emails. And it's the process whether you're going to do it as a send broadcast or if you want to do it as a uh, part of your follow up series, the same process holds true. So once you log into your Now Lifestyle account, when you click on either reseller tools or products, we, you can do either or. Um, usually I'm just in a habit of clicking reseller tools. You want to go into lead capture system. If you are using SendShark, you might just have the product suite, okay, one way or another, but basically you're looking for the lead capture system. You're going to click on message and then you're going to click on send broadcast or if it's a follow up, you would do add follow up if you want to add into your actual um, follow up series. And so first thing you're going to do, you're always going to choose the actual campaigns that you want to send to. And so when you choose those, really, it just makes sense to only choose the campaigns that you actually have leads in, um, because otherwise it's not really going anywhere. The system might not work, but really you just want to only choose the, the leads or the campaigns that you have leads in. So what you want to do, of course, to do this, and I will just kind of do a little quick intro and then I'll be doing one, you know, on my own. But when you're doing your information, of course, you want to have a great subject line. You want to make it enticing and something like curiosity provoking so they actually open the email. And then, you know, you could even say something and then say, you know, you know, so they're really curious and then say pics inside or pictures inside. And then once you do your text. So, for example, if I just want to say, hey, first name, I click the insert fields, I go to subscriber and then I can go over to first name and then it would automatically populate whatever the subscriber's first name is there. And so something like this, uh, you know, hey, subscriber, first name. Uh, last week at the event was off the charts. And then what I wanna do, I can go into Facebook, for example. So what you see here, there's different things you could add. You could either add a link that would then send the person to the website you wanna go to that tracks it, or you can actually just do a regular hyperlink, or you can send a picture. So what you're looking for is this little icon here to insert a picture. So wherever you want it to go, you're going to click on that. And what happens is it pops up a box, and the source is basically the website where the picture is hosted. So you can't upload a picture. Again, you are not able to upload a picture into the system. You actually have to pull a picture that already exists. So one of the best places to do that is, is on Facebook. And so if we go to my home page, or if you go to your home page, whoever's home page, and let's say you're looking for pictures, and I want to see if we just go into photos, it'll be a little, little bit easier. If we go into photos, the most recent photos are here. And so here, for example, pictures of you know the leadership group. Here's me and Danielle speaking. Uh, me, Danielle, uh, Daniel Kump and his wife, Katie. And so, you know, we had a great time there. And so if we just pick this picture, for example, what I can do, I can right click the picture. I can open it in a new tab. Okay, we open that. Sorry again. So again, what I did, I right clicked it and I clicked open image in a new tab. And what I want to do, I can look and then there's an address at the very top. All of this stuff at the top is basically the address where this picture is, is kept. So if I highlight that and copy it by either, you know, scrolling over the whole thing and right click copy. So for example, if, oops, if I do this whole thing, and let's say I highlighted the whole thing, I could right click and I could copy. Or if I just clicked in there, I do control C that copies it. When I come back to my information, I can just go in here and do control V, right click paste. And it does the whole thing. And you don't really need to worry about the image description. You can put it in there. But notice it automatically populated the size of this thing. Now, this is uh, a really, really big size. We don't really want to have this because it's going to overwhelm uh, the screen and, and the dimensions. And you only see a part of it. So what I want to do is cut it in, in a, a part. So it's basically like 200 to 150, which is kind of small. So we're going to do 400. And when I click out of the 400 box, because this box is clicked, it will keep the dimensions. So it went 400 to 300. So it'll keep those same dimensions. When I click OK, notice the picture populates inside of my email. Then I can just continue to uh, to do my email. So here is Dan 
Danielle and myself on stage sharing our stories. And that's it. Okay. Now, if you want to make this a clickable link, then it's a, another process. So let's say that this is the first part. So th this is this is we're done at this point if we want to add a picture. Okay, we just click on the image again. If, if I want to go down and again, we want to do a picture, insert image, I can insert a second picture. And so let's say we do this one where here we are. Let, let's go back to the leadership group. Here we are with the leadership group. And so again, we'll open it in a new page or a new tab. We'll grab that address at, at the top and then we will just paste it in there. Again, notice it's about the same thing. So we want to shrink this to about a 400 size. And then notice those numbers were a little bit different because added little different dimensions. And then there's our next picture. So the width is going to be the same, but the height might be a little bit different. So again, we can change that in there. And then, so let's say here's Danielle and myself on stage sharing our stories and then taking part in the leadership. Oh, what do we got? Uh, Q and A panel, whatever Q and A panel. are extremely honored to be part of this family okay and so what you can do if someone hovers over this and clicks it you can actually highlight this and we could insert a link so if I actually hover over this if I click and hover over it what I can do is I can actually insert a link and so now I can do I can actually add a title to it, a links it to the now lifestyle team. The target's going to be a new window. And so what happens is now this is a clickable link. So notice it says join the now lifestyle team with us when I hover over it. And when I send it, it actually becomes a clickable link. And so if we actually send this, I want to actually send this through so you can actually see how it looks when I actually open the email. And just again, just to show you how fast it is, it's 431 p.m. on October 15th, 2018. And so if we do this, we are extremely honored to be part of this family. Let's see. And we can not wait for you to join us. And notice I want to put the link down here in the actual body too, because some people might not be able to get the actual uh, code for the pictures. And that, that's what's going on in the text message box at the bottom. And so to generate the tracking link, I, again, I clicked where it says add tracking link and then I just pop the same thing. I could make it say something different, but I want to just have the code be, or I want to have the actual uh, website address so people can actually see it. And so, once we're done, we're going to copy all the text that's in here and we're going to bring it down to the bottom. But I just want to add a couple more things here. So let's see. Keep it plain and simple. Last week, the event was off the charts. Here's Danielle and myself on stage sharing our stories and then taking part in the leadership panel. We cannot wait for you to join us. Let's do this. I'm going to keep this one really simple. Add our, my phone number in there if anyone wants to get in touch with me. And then again, we want to make sure that it's, you know, again, drawing in the person. So you want to make people have a little curiosity. So, you know, you maybe tie it into something that was in here. So we could say off the charts, off the charts, picks inside. So again, it, it leaves people with the curiosity They're like, okay, well, pictures of what? So they're going to look at this. So what we want to do, we want to be somewhere in this email. We're going to do control A. Again, you're going to click control A, or you can just go like this, start here, and you can click and drag through the bottom. And then you could do control C, or you can right click and copy. And then at the bottom, we need to go down here and do the whole thing again. Notice there's gaps here because that's where the pictures were. But some people might have a provider that doesn't allow the images. And so we want to be able to make sure they have, you know, that information here. 
But what you could also do, if you really wanted to do it, you can put the link to the picture there. So, you know, here's a picture of, you know, Danielle and myself on the stage. It doesn't make sense if they're reading that. So what we want to do is actually take that link. We're going to copy it again, and we can actually put it down here in this uh, page so that they could actually click on that if they wanted to. And so they could click that, and then they could click the other one with the leadership panel. So if you're talking about a specific picture, I would recommend doing that because otherwise um, they're not going to see anything and then it's not going to make sense. But that's pretty much the gist of it. Okay, It's relatively simple when you're going to do your code and where you want your actual picture to be. You're basically just going to click that insert, uh, insert and edit image. And so if I just do this again, copy or control A and control C, the whole thing. I'm going to add this and I'm going to come back and just show you what I what I did here in a second. But one of the other key things that you always need to make sure you do is that after you have this and you clicked, you know, add, it's a pending broadcast at this point. You need to click the little plus button so that it cues the email. Otherwise, that email will never be sent and it'll just sit there in your back office under pending. As far as pending broadcast, so like right now, it's a pending broadcast but otherwise it wouldn't go out. So what I always do, I also send it to my autoresponder list too, because I have a lot of leads that are associated with another now lifestyle, uh, you know, capture page that I use with it from a third party with ClickFunnels. And so what I'll do is I'll do the same thing. So off the charts and basically watch, I'll just go in here and I'll do control V and it saves all that information. So I'm gonna get that same set of uh, details in here. Now notice again, I didn't have the pictures, I got to go in and I got to copy the link to the pictures. And so there's our first picture and here's us uh, with the leadership group. And then we're ready to go. Okay, and then I can just send them. Whoops, that's the wrong one. I want this one, the bigger one. And then we're good to go. Okay, so I'm going to add it there. And again, same process in the autoresponder. It works very much similar to the lead capture system, just that it's separate. And then I queue it up and it's ready to go. And then what we're going to do, again, it's 436, so it's been a few minutes. I'm going to open up my Gmail. And that first one that I sent should be there already. Okay, if things have been going like they've been going, okay, delivery is instant. And by instant, really, that means within, you know, uh, within a few minutes. So I can be patient here with my password. And so when we log in to my Gmail, I should have a couple emails because I, I subscribe to my own self and I would recommend that you subscribe to your own accounts as well. And that way, you know, when your things are going through. And so, okay, we'll give this a second. I, I like this one. Maybe you've been getting hacked by people trying to, to fake you out and tell them they're from the dark net, but we'll check. Just make sure always check your spam. And again, it's a good thing to opt into your own emails because then what happens is you get to test that your email gets through and you get to test how they look and you can test how, how they come through and if the links work correctly. And so, okay, there it is, 437 now. Here's the first one. I'm gonna get a couple more to come through. So Dave Gardner, off the charts, pick inside. And there we are. So there's my email and Gmail. There's the two pictures we just did. Notice that when we hover over it, it says, join the Now Lifestyle team with us. And down at the bottom left-hand corner you'll, of my email, way down at the bottom left, you can see where the link to nowlifestyleteam.com shows up. And so if I click it, what it'll do, it will actually bring it to the page where people can then join for the dollar trial and the $9.99 special. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Notice the bottom one doesn't have it. It just has the option to download because I didn't go through and link that. So again, that's something you can do or you can see again, here's the link for Now Lifestyle Team. Notice the one now, if we look at the very, very bottom, notice this one is tracked. So there's a lot more details and numbers. So when you go in and you open up your emails, you'll actually be able to see you know, how many people have clicked this. So for example, if we actually go back and I go back into my lead capture system and then I go back into broadcast, I'll actually see how many mails were sent. So if you look off the chart picks inside, 4,935 were sent, 35 have been opened already and one clicked it. So I'm the first one to click it just because it was second, but even just within minutes, 35 people have opened it already and that will continue to grow, you know, over the next few hours. So hopefully you found benefit of, uh, from that. Again, sometimes people get in the habit of not adding pictures. Sometimes it will say, you know, please display images below. But this is something you could easily do to ramp up, um, 
again, ramp up the, the view and ramp up the engagement with your with your partners and with your with your leads. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed that. Again, that's been how to add a picture into your email. It's been Dave Gardner. We'll talk to you soon.